here we have the uh, steel framework already set up and ready for the pour. These are the 16 columns that I will be pouring today. And uh, this uh, framework is done differently because it is not a standard shape, unlike the blue ones. These are just square uh, columns. We have 12 of those and then uh, two non-standard columns on each of the uh, tower things. Uh, these two sides corners, but they're not corners, they're uh, rounded towers, I guess. So this is how the uh, this particular framework works. You got those pins and then you press them down with uh, hammering these down. Uh, the sheets press together and uh, there is one in each, uh, I think that's uh, 30 centimeters, so about a foot uh, distance. And we have this beautiful foggy and rainy weather, but we can't stop. We're running behind schedule, so we need to catch up. See you during the pour. The pump is now uh, prepared for the pour. It cleaned out the, uh, the pipe, I guess. He should now drop some concrete. And once it becomes uh, good consistency, he'll start the pour. There we go. That's concrete already. Now we have two people uh, working on each column. One will be doing the pour, the other one will be operating the vibrator. The concrete vibrator. This is the last column, so we are finished.
the crew just left the project we have finished as you can see all of the columns are topped off with concrete there we go so there is 16 columns we did today then comes the second floor the third floor and then furnishing so there should be some interesting material so stay safe guys and girls give this video a like subscribe if you found this interesting and would like to see more cheers